everyone, this is Mika, the MVS Bushcraft, and uh, I'm out today again, uh, practicing some uh, primitive skills, actually, and I wanted also to talk about some gear. Okay, so here we go. This is the gear that I brought with me today, basically. Uh, it is my EDC, you've seen it before, I've just added a few things, uh, some duct tape, instead of the red bandana I have a white cloth, trash bag, Swiss army knife, uh, lighter, uh, stainless steel bottle, stainless steel cup, which is full of water, and to make sure I have possibilities to boiling my water I have the espit stove uh, over here we have the same bow drill set you've seen before uh, in the winter bow drill uh, what I did today I brought along the bow I made the last time but now I also created a takedown bow which I will be showing you guys after I started uh, when I pack up so um, uh, I'm also gonna try a thing I heard a story about um, from my uncle in Finland he was um, as you can see there's birch bark rolled up in there in the stove when he was doing, uh, what do you call them, uh, repetition drills in the army, I don't remember, this uh, was a long time ago, uh, he was maybe in his 30s, something like that. Anyhow, they, have, uh, they had, in his group, he had some old Sami guys, and... Uh, First of all, they thought everything was just well because uh, when they drive they, their reindeers during that season, uh, they get almost eaten up by bugs, uh, the mosquitoes. They hardly sleep anything and they're always on the run. So um, it's hard work. So they was taking this kind of uh, drill like an vacation actually so they were very happy they could sleep they could get some food I think they even got paid for it uh, now these guys uh, uh, experienced wilderness people natives um, they did this trick uh, in their pocket their chest pocket they had birch bark every time they stopped uh, they took out some birch bark, lit it on fire, and made them a cup of coffee. So, uh, what I want to try today is how long will this birch bark burn? Can I get that amount of birch bark to boil my water here? Oh, there's some dirt in me. Ah, no problem. Uh, or at least get it warm so I can get my soup in case uh, it fails I have picked some handful of uh, sticks and I have some more birch bark here to add if I wish right so let's try the new bow the takedown bow uh, and start a fire
okay, the pouch you saw earlier. Um, it's uh, Tinder from home. So, it is dry. I'm not gonna use any of the fungus today. The birch bark is burning. Let's snap that out. Save it for later. Good. Right. So the takedown bow worked out just fine. I had a little problem with the tension of the cord, but um, if you make them both like this, you can grab it down here further in to make it grip again. Um, okay, it is still on fire. And we have a boil. Nice. Time for some soup and some sandwiches. And it is still going strong. Some Danish bread with salami and some mushroom soup. Great.
Oh, by the way, I wiped off right here so I won't get that soot in my mouth. Okay, this is the leftovers from the budge park. Not bad. And, uh, nothing stuck to it. Nice. Uh, this is the take apart bow for the set. So what you do? Let's put this aside. <coughs> You see this loop here. Oh, the sitting pad, of course. Um, it's fastened here, goes all the way around to a groove in the handle, like that. Uh, goes here, and so this will be the working bit pulling itself together. When you put the spindle in, it puts itself together, like that. And then you take the tag end and you just wrap around these two joints here, alright? So what I will be doing probably um, is to get a some kind of leather, a piece of tougher leather to put over here and then just wrap around with cord. Uh, why do I want to make one like this? Just because I don't want to make make a new bow every time I go out in the woods and when you carry this in the subway uh, of course I look like an outdoor nerd with all my green stuff and my needle Binded hat on, and you know, let's put that one up. I just made a cold just for fun of it. Uh, but the stick is a thing that gets people's attention, so I will be taking this home. I like it, but uh, this is the one I will be carrying with the kit. There you go. Okay, I'm on my way home. Uh, nice practicing times out in the woods. Uh, I bought the gear. I have been wanting to make this video a long time uh, since I saw Sarah your video on on gear and what what you actually need and what you can do without and of course I do all these things at my own risk um, but I wanted to try and I, what, what I will try in the future, this year actually, is to go more more primitive with the gear and uh, with also the skills. Um, go with lighter gear. Uh, uh, I will be using uh, bigger knives, but uh, uh, I actually wanted to test would I have the guts to go out with just with a Swiss blade uh, because that's what I carry every day so why not take it out and use it you know just one knife a small little fire steel uh, uh, you've seen me make a a um, 
what we said before with my screen Army knife. So uh, I took one along, made me the two pieced bow. So yeah, uh, and it works great. Everything takes a bit more time. That's the only con with it, actually. So, um, yes, I would like to thank you all for watching. Big hello to all you subscribers and friends, and I'll catch you in the next video. So, take care now. Bye bye.